do you need fresh air introduced to a foam insulated house? Yes, you do. What's the easiest way to add fresh air to a home through your HVAC system? Today, I'm gonna to show you a simple way to add fresh air to your home. And I'm also gonna talk about several options for adding fresh air uh, using a different type of device. There are a few different to choose from. I'm gonna talk about those as well. You're watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners slash Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. This is open cell insulation, and you can see how you can press it in. It's kind of squishy. Compared to closed cell, closed cell is much harder and you can't really push it in. Closed cell insulation is a vapor barrier and the R value is about six to seven per inch. For open cell, the R value is about three and a half to four uh, per inch. And open cell and closed cell insulation are widely used in the construction industry right now because this is the best way for you to save money when you're getting a high efficiency unit. This is where we added our fresh air. Let me show you. See this line right here going to the exterior or outside? That's a six inch duct. It's metal, it goes underneath this uh, platform right here and then it goes up into the return side of the air conditioning system and the return is connected to the filter downstairs. But our filter is right here, see this? Look at that custom there's our filter see that now why do we have a filter right here at the unit because we don't have a filter for that fresh air outside and you don't want to introduce fresh air without filtering it this is the most simple way for you to add fresh air to your home you just take a six inch line depending on how much fresh air you need and you run it to the return side of the unit whenever the unit runs it pulls in that fresh air that fresh air then goes through the filter, into the furnace, out of the furnace, into the coil. This is the coil for cooling, and then through the duct system. And then those ducts are in the ceiling, which I'll show you inside the home. This right here is the register and boot where the fresh air enters from outside, goes through that line, and then enters that return. There's the return grill by the thermostat, and this is what those ceiling registers look like. So this is a good way to add fresh air and it's super simple and it's the cheapest way. You can also add a damper, a six inch damper for that line and then have that tied into the call for the fan so that when the fan kicks on, it opens that damper. And that's just another way to make it even better. Other ways we can add fresh air to our home. One is with a whole house dehumidifier and a whole house dehumidifier looks like this. A whole house dehumidifier can control your humidity and also bring in fresh air. Depending on what model you have, you will have a inlet and an outlet and then you'll have another inlet that you can use to maybe run a six inch or an eight inch line into that dehumidifier. And when it runs, it'll pull in fresh air. I would usually mount it probably above or near my HVAC system up in this attic. Another device you can use is an ERV or an HRV. An HRV transfers heat, and is used typically in colder climates, and an ERV transfers moisture and heat. I can actually show you the ERV looks like this, and the HRV looks like this. An ERV is great for adding fresh air into your home. It is more expensive, just like the HRV, than adding a line like this. But if you want a dedicated system to control the infiltration in your home to control fresh air, it's something that you can use to add fresh air to your home, just like the dehumidifier. If you want to learn exactly how much fresh air you need, there's a formula for that, and I'm going to put a link to a website where you can go learn more and actually be able to calculate how much fresh air you need depending on how big your space is. This is a vent-free fireplace that's in the home. Very important to have fresh air in a home where you have gas appliances, like vent-free gas fireplaces, like a vent-free gas heater on the wall. This is something that can produce or release small amounts of carbon monoxide and that's going to deplete the oxygen in the home. If you want to learn more about sizing equipment for a foam insulated house, I've got a video on my HVAC training courses playlist and it's titled how to size equipment and in that video I talk about sizing 
for foam insulation so that you can understand how to better size equipment for this particular application. Because something you don't want to do for a foam house is oversize the equipment. You don't want to have mold, you do not want to have high humidity, and anytime you build a foam house you want to make sure that you have at least a small inexpensive dehumidifier with a built-in pump. That way you can always control the humidity and never have to worry about humidity. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.